Good day everyone. This is recording for CS111 Programming 1 and our topic today is about pointers. We already had an initial discussion about pointers when we discussed parameter passing, particularly passing by reference. Today we will discuss pointers in detail. So what are pointers? Pointers are variables that contain the memory address of another variable. So the key word here is address. So when you think of a pointer, it is always synonymous to an address. So the syntax of declaring a pointer looks like this. Okay, so we make use of any valid data type in C. It could be an integer, a char, float, double, or it could be even void. And then to differentiate it from ordinary variables, we use an asterisk prior to the variable name. An example of declaring a pointer looks like this. So in this example, our pointer variable is x and the data type used is int. So meaning to say, our, the data type of our pointer variable here is a pointer to an integer which means that our pointer variable x can only point to variables whose data type are also int or they can only hold addresses of variables of type int. It doesn't matter where you position the asterisk. It could be near the variable or it could be at the middle or it could be near the data type. Okay, so again the data type of our pointer variable x here is a pointer to an integer. Okay, so pointer has two operators. We have the ampersand, which we call the address operator. What it does is it simply returns the memory address of its operand. And we also have the asterisk, which is the dereferencing operator. And the dereferencing operator returns the value of the variable whose address the pointer holds. So let's take a look at an example on how to use these operators. So in this example here, how many variables do you think we have here? Yes, we have four variables. So we have char1, char2, and temp, which are all variables of type char. And we have char ptr, whose data type is a pointer to char. Okay, so in this next line, this is how we use an address operator. So what is meant in this line is that the address of char1, whatever address it has, will be assigned to char ptr. Okay, so again, the address of char1 is assigned to char ptr. Okay. So, in this next line is how a dereferencing operator is used with the pointer variable, okay? So, the meaning of this line is that the value pointed by char ptr is assigned to temp, okay? So, the value pointed by char ptr will be assigned to temp. And in this line here, the value stored in char2 will overwrite the value pointed by char ptr, okay? And the next line, the value stored in temp will overwrite the value stored in char2. And then finally, we output the value stored in char1 and char2, okay? So to make it clear, let's dissect each line one by one, okay? So, this is how it looks like now. So, we have four variables. Char1 has a value A. Char2 has a value Z. Temp initially has no value yet. And char ptr contains null because it doesn't point to anything yet. Okay. So, in this line, the address of char1 is assigned to char ptr. Now, assuming that char1 is located at memory address 1000. So take note that this is not the actual address. 
So we are just making an assumption that char1 is located at memory address 1000. So when this line is executed, the address 1000 will be stored in char PTR. Okay, so char PTR here contains now the address 1000. And when that happens, char PTR now will be pointing to the value stored in char 1. That's why it's called a pointer. Because once it takes holds of an address, it will now be pointing to the variable located in that address, which in this case is char 1. Okay, so next line, using the dereferencing operator, the value pointed by char PTR, which is A, will be assigned to temp. So temp now will now have the value A. Okay, then here, next line, the value stored in chart 2, which is Z, will overwrite the value pointed by char PTR. So since the value pointed by char PTR is A, its value will now be overwritten by the value stored in chart 2. So char 1 now will have the value Z. Okay? Then the last line here, the value in temp, which is A, will overwrite the value stored in chart 2. So chart 2, which originally has the value Z, will now have the value A. So basically, what we are doing here is just simply swap the value stored in char 1 and char 2. So when you output char 1 and char 2, char 1 now will have the value Z and char 2 will have the value A. Okay? So how do we initialize pointers? It says here that after a pointer is declared, but before it has been assigned a value, it contains an unknown value, which is null. Okay? So, to declare a pointer, or to initialize a pointer, we do it this way. So, here, for example, we have an ordinary integer variable, which is n, and we have a pointer variable of type pointer to int, ptr. So, to initialize ptr, we just use the address operator, or the ampersand. Okay, so here, we are assigning the address of n to ptr okay so it could be done in three lines or it could be done in two lines like this one here so it's a declaration together with an initialization so take note that if you already declared your pointer here and you initialize your pointer to the address of n you do not put any more an asterisk here because its meaning will become different. But if you put the initialization together with the declaration, this is how it will look like. Okay? So that's how we initialize pointers.